have a little music in the background while we do it the may 8th uh update details are out let's take a look at our events for the week uh the weekly red dragon garmoth reward times five yo hold on boys hold up complete garmoth weekly up to five times oh i'm not gonna do that that's crazy get two more rewards from garmoth weekly class and double the chance at Vel's heart yeah okay whatever so you guys can do garmoth five times this week instead of three again i would like to remind you that your chances of getting the heart are zero so two more times zero is still you guessed it zero okay and if anyone does get it you come straight here for a report just understand i am gonna find out you're going to get banned from the video game for at least three days you just you should just take it on the chin be a man just tell us that it happened so we can all report you am i right boys um next one is uncover the crown field boxes via excavation uh this looks like one of those node things ancient ruins storage wait what Talk to the Coastal Cave node manager, uh, Egrim, to activate the Ancient Ruins storage node. It consumes one energy. Um, Coastal Cave is over here, guys. It's right here. This is Coastal Cave right here. Uh, it looks like Egrin is uh, right here. This is your guy. He's just outside of Velia. You just walk down the beach. He should be right here for you guys, okay? Uh, so that's who they're talking about. You have to unlock it with energy, and then you send a worker to the node. And it looks like you can get a, uh, a hazy, shining, or glorious ruins box. Uh, and then you get enhancement supplies from them. All right, so what's in the box? All right, so the glorious ruins box. Um, oh, they're rolly boxes. So in the best box, you can get 30 crons, eight memory fragments, five artisans, seven uh, advice of the Valks, 100 crons, 70 Valks, or 300 crons. Uh, the next one is slightly worse, maxing out at 200 crons. Lowest is 15. And then the hazy ruins box is 10 crons, maxing out at 100. You should absolutely do this, guys. Uh, even if you get uh, only hazy ruins boxes the whole time, uh, and he's running the entire event, you're still getting more value out of this node than probably every other node on the map. And take it from me, I literally just ran... I just did a node worker empire guide. So, like, um... Or I just did an updated one on YouTube, anyway. Uh, so this is still definitely the best node on the map, even if you get the worst thing. So we're pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Double the login league rewards. Double the guildies. Double the league rewards. Participate guide. Um, Enjoy the guild league at least three times in one week to grab some cron stones and sturdy forest treads. Um, So you have to participate in guild league three times on three different days well one time on three different days guys if you participate three times in the same day it's not going to count you have to participate on three different days in order for it to work it looks like yeah um it looks like you're gonna get 1200 cron stones for this and 40 uh sturdy forest treads i'm not sure what sturdy forest treads are for um sturdy forest thread video anyone know what these are for Um, oh, so you can craft whale tendon? Yeah, you get the juicer whale tendon elixirs. Yeah, so that's really good. Um, strive for victory. Go, go. How the event works. During the event period, earn five points for victory, three points for defeat each time you participate in Guild League. Okay. Depending on your final score, you may be able to uh, you may be able to collect all the rewards. Okay, so the more you participate in Guild League, guys, the more stuff you can get. It looks like if you get 150 points, you get a free classic outfit box. If you get 200 points, you get a premium outfit box, and you can kind of double up. So if you get 350 points, you can get both outfit boxes. Um, is what this is saying here. It's really good. So just participate in a bunch of Guild League with your guild members. Um, you should have a great time with it. It is a lot of fun. Uh, I would strongly encourage you to give it a go. It's a great way to try PvP. Uh, if they start cussing at you, uh, find new friends and find a new guild. Uh, statistic is recruiting. Accessory upgrade. Now is the chance. Let's take a look at this. How hard is it to get points? It said five points per win, three per three per loss. So not that bad. Uh, I think 200 is to get everything. No, 200 is just for... Um, if your total of two... Well, maybe it is 200 to get everything. I take it back. 
it just says total of 50 points that's absolutely right chat it looks like it's you get 200 points you get all this stuff you get an 80 stack you get all these um enhancement help kits you get loots 15 loot scrolls classic outfit box premium outfit box five resplendent uh lightstone of fires um which have the potential to have strikes in them those are really good too um here's your accessory upgrade now is the chance what is that you mean now is the time it's a poorly translated it's fine uh, the jewel of imperfect power awaits you in various monster zones in elvia realm oh this is the this is the cup event guys this is the shard event oh this this event is juiced guys yeah so the jewel of imperfect power drops um at varying rates from different monster zones in the game if you get 200 of them you get a cup of your choosing um Again, these are the enhancement upgrades for your for your gear. So like if you're already grinding at Oryx, you can basically double down. If you're grinding at Baragi, you can double down. You're gonna get two times as many cups. That money is crazy. Uh Gif and Raza Underground, I'm fairly certain, was one of the highest cup drop uh in the in the game last time. Like the Jewel of Imperfect Power dropped at an obscene rate from Gif and Raza Underground. So if it's just like last time, uh consider that as one of your grind zones if you have the gear to kind of go there. Um but this looks like this event is going to go through May 14th. Uh, so that is only a one-week event. So you're only going to have one week to kind of get it done. So make sure you guys get out there and grind. Uh, where to obtain... Uh, so yeah, this is basically all of the Elvia zone in the game. Underwater Sakraya, Upper Sakraya, um, yeah, Upper and Lower Sakraya, Schultz, Kratuga, basically everywhere in the game, guys. It's it's every grind zone in the game. I, like, I, I'll just save you the time. It's basically every grind zone in the game. Um... Yeah, Giffen Raza Underground was really good last time. I remember I got the most from there. Uh, and I tried a couple different spots. Uh, but yeah, those are the events. Uh, new and improvements. Okay, so contents. Uh, okay, it looks like your titles are refreshing for the group chats. Uh, if you didn't know, you get a certain amount of likes in a certain group chat. Uh, you do get a very specific title, uh, whether it be blue, pink, or gold. Um, oh, Captain, my Captain uh, is definitely, in my opinion, the goaded one. That one's really, really cool. Uh, that one's for the Dancing Marlin Tavern. That's the one that I'm typically in uh, as well. Can you sell the cups? Uh, yes. Um, view the accumulated Agris Essence amount. You can now check the amount of accumulated Agris Essences of each item in their description. Oh, so we're getting the upgrade. So now you can tell if you just mouse over an item, guys, it will tell you how many times you've attempted on that item. This is where you're looking right here. It's 20 out of 40. That means you've done 20 pen black star attempts and have not gotten it. It'll tell you what your um, success rate is, basically, and like how close you are uh, to the pity on that. That's a W change. That way you don't have to put it in the enhancement rack to actually see it. Big W change for us. Massive quality of life change. Uh, change the maximum quantity per transaction for Breath of the Morning uh, from 1 to 100. The max amount per cell is 10 to 500. Okay, that's a W change. Makes things a little bit easier. Uh, added a description of how to obtain the capturing rope from the st storage keeper or stable keeper. Okay. Uh, added a special note in the descriptions below. The equipping the main weapon may change their appearance. This is the Sorceress Rose Noir armor and outfit set. Um, improve the Imperial Trace box. Uh, which contains trace of nature to not display the roulette upon opening huh. okay that's funny that means that it was rolling and it's like congratulations you got trace of nature and it's just a bunch of traces of natures that's like it's crazy uh change the max price of the premium outfit box on the central market below this is the really terrible change that everybody has been talking about guys please note that the central market um like premium outfit cost looks like region wide now north america and eu particularly um and it looks like sea as well now uh is now 2.1 billion silver instead of the 1.6 or so i believe that it was before understand that they are not at all changing the amount of cron stones you get from the outfit so although the outfit sells for more money and it costs more money to buy it you're not getting any more cron stones than you were getting f before so cron stones are going to be much much harder to get now uh just across the board so if you got your gear this is strictly helps anyone that has already gotten their gear this is a huge detriment for new players for returning players players that don't have their deborah sets and stuff yet all of the veteran players are all 
living happy with this change no big deal because they've already used all the cron stones they need to use it was way cheaper for them to get cron stones than it is for you now it is now way way more difficult for you to get cron stones than it was for them to get cron stones it's just making the gap between the low end and the high end player much much wider it's increasing the pay to win margin of the game this is a horrible change for the game and i'm really sorry that it's coming to our servers guys it's really really bad um like it's it's your like honestly again it makes everybody's job way harder if you don't already have your end game gear keep in mind i am an end game player i haven't gotten my debos yet but i'm way further than most of you guys like the cron stones that it's going to require you to get your black star the cron stones it's going to require you to, to to tap other accessories the cron stones it's going to require you to do anything in the game it's all going to cost more money than it cost me guys um when i did it and that's a really crappy feeling uh for any new player i'm not sure why they decided to go this way uh it is probably the worst change that we've seen in bdo for quite some time um but there it is uh translation changes and some bug fixes nothing major here uh let's take a look at the pearl shop changes not that i'm encouraging any of you to spend money on this patch is probably not a good idea um uh the shy marshmallow me up shy mains keep it together it's a cute outfit it's whatever Keep it together. Guy, shy mains. I want to remind you that you were protesting in Heidel literally last week. Okay? You were staging an in-game protest last week. All right? If you want if you want changes to shy, you don't buy every new shy outfit that comes to the market. I'm just saying. All right? I'm just I'm just keeping it real. Everything she wears is cute. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically the truth um uh female classes the selene outfit what's the selene outfit oh this outfit the selene outfit is yeah it's it's a cultured outfit guys it's um uh yeah it's for um yeah it's for coomers um yeah, it's the Coomer outfit. Yeah, you guys are gonna. Yeah, it, I'll get the full spin here. Hold on, we'll we'll get the full spin on it. Yeah, again, you can hide the cape. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, guys. Yeah, this is one of those outfits that a sponsor probably doesn't want to see you wearing. You know what I mean? It's just like one of those things. One, one of those things. Uh, anyway, that's what the outfit looks like for the Selene. Uh, Marshmallow Miop and the Selene. Okay, so there's outfit deals. Uh, round metal glasses um, are now for sale. Um, what is the Nixodesu outfit? Uh... What 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 is this images? That's what that's new. I'm I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that outfit. It would be great if they showed pictures of this stuff. The witch Nixie Desu outfit. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It says it's gonna sell from May 8th to May 22nd, so we're gonna have to see. What does OOTD mean? Oh, that's the outfit of the day player name. Oh, okay. Okay, so we don't know exactly what it looks like yet. Yeah, okay, so this came from the um, the costume, like the the outfit set, guys. Remember, they had a, an event a while back where the adventurer that mixed and matched their outfit the best and had the best dyes and stuff would allow their outfit to be sold on the Pearl Shop. This is that person's. Uh, apparently a witch one. I'm definitely going to consider buying it for my witch. Uh, so, Nixodesu, if you're out there, uh, you might see me walking around in your outfit set. Um, yeah, it sounds, it sounds pretty cool. uh outfit haul box i'm not sure what this is oh this looks like a rolly box yeah this is a rolly box guys again i don't recommend doing the rolly box we'll take a look at what's inside of it though um here it is right here um so you have a 35 percent chance to get a classic outfit 17.8 to get a classic outfit times two 1% chance to get a classic outfit times 5, and a 0.1% chance to get a classic outfit box times 10. 
35% chance to get a premium outfit box, 10% chance to get a two premium outfit boxes, 1% chance to get five, and 0.1 to get 10. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I don't ever recommend gambling with your money, guys. Um, but if, you, if you're all about cron stones, it's not the worst idea in the world. Uh, it probably ends up uh, being cost efficient overall, especially if you get the 15% off one. These are not the prices that you're going to see on North America and EU, just so you're aware. The, the price conversion is different for us. Uh, it's probably going to be closer to 2,200 um, pearls um, for the main box. And then it'll probably be... I don't know. I'm not sure what the what the times five is going to be, but uh, usually it's around a classic outfit box uh, in price. Yeah, you multiply by five. OK, so it's going to be a little over thirty two hundred um, in pearls. So you definitely could end up losing your money. Um, abundant farming pack. Wait a minute, guys. The the for the very first time. The fences are on sale in BDO. This is one of the most cost-efficient uh, pay-to-win aspects of the game. Uh, essentially, these fences are large fences that you don't have to spend contribution on, and they allow you to do farming. Um, it is only 10% off, but you can use your 20% off coupon that they gave us last week on it, assuming you still have it. Um, and yeah, this 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 is really good. Um, this, this looks really good. Uh, they're going to give you some extra stuff too, but the important thing is that it looks like it's going to give you a fence. Uh, it looks like you can only get four of them though. So you're gonna, they're only going to let you buy up to four of them. But this now is the time. If you've been waiting for the fence to go on sale to see, so that you can get it uh, like I did for a long time, this is definitely the time to get the fence. Uh, it's not a bad time. Uh, the fairy growth aid pack, that's pretty good for any of the new players that are kind of looking to try to upgrade their fairy. Uh, I recommend upgrading your fairy. And then if you need the Thayer's Orb, you can try and look at this pack here. I would not buy it ahead of time because you don't know how everything is going to turn out. Uh, looks like that is the end of the patch notes for this week, guys. We are getting the Pearl Shop changes. We don't like that very much, but I will say that the farming out or the farming set uh, being on sale, the farming fences being on sale is kind of a big W. Uh, and then again, uh, you have some people's the Selene outfit is on sale. A lot of people really like that outfit. Uh, Shy got a new outfit as well. So yeah, that's a wrap for the Bash Note Rundown, boys.